Good morning, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment, to another episode of Dark Souls 3. As you can see, I have a nice, nice, lovely curved sword on my back, and this is the old wolf curved sword. As you can see, there it is. I went ahead and did it, and as I expected, it's actually... Uh, I needed to deepen my covenant. Uh, I needed to deepen my covenant uh, in order to get it, which is something that I did. I also got a shield and a ring, the old wolf ring, one of those reminiscent rings from Dark Souls 1, which is this one. This ring increases poise, and it's amazing. I am almost... 100% certain that I do find, well, we do find this ring in the forest, uh, in the woods, in Dark Souls 1. Uh, it's a bit of a tricky situation in order to reach it, but I think that's where you find it. Ring associated with the Abyss Watcher Artorius, one of the four knights of Gwen, the First Lord. Increases poise, Artorius had an unbendable will of steel and was unmatched with a great sword. And yeah, he was. What did I do other than that? Of course, I cannot equip this sword with my or with um, two days ago current stats, of course, uh, with the swords that I acquired. I did enhance. A bit of vitality, some bit of endurance, and leveled up my strength, uh, like 3 points or something, get to 19 in order to be able to wield the sword. So I did level up a bit, which is good. Uh, of course I cannot really roll fast without having one of these gloves. Let me do the Fallen Knight, see if it works. No. As you can see, my vitality is not good enough. So it needs to be... It needs to be one glove in order to work. One point four, one point three. Okay, let's try these. There you go. So why the old wolf curved sword? Oops, sorry. That's because the old wolf curved sword is curved sword bearing the soul of the old wolf that stays with the watchdogs of Farron. This sword, like a wolf on the prowl, boosts attack and restores HP with each consecutive hit. Wolf leap is the skill Slice into foes with a large spinning motion, then keep out of harm, uh, of harm's way, uh, and follow with a strong attack. So, this sword is going to go with the theme of recovering HP as I attack successfully, uh, with in conjunction with the Pontiff's left eye. Uh, it's a great, great thing. And so, what do I have now? I got this that boosts HP recovery. I got the Seistus that I enchanted to blessed Seistus. And with a uh, weapon from six traps, man, it should. Yeah, uh, cross arms in front of the body to temporarily boost poise damage reduced by activated. So, should I need to? All I need to is switch to this, and uh, hey, hold on a second. <laughs> Give me a minute. There you go. I do this, and I get a nice, lovely buff. Then, of course, I'll just keep, switch back to my normal, normal things, and. Let me see. Ah. Uh, there you have it. Anyway, so this has a passive, the other one uh, gives us a buff, and it's a good overall thing to have. 
So, the other thing that happened in Firelink is of course, the death of the Pilgrim. As you continue or you finish leveling up, this fellow will die, and this lovely lady will be back. Oh, prithee, art thou good yours, master? I am Yuria of Londor, a close oh, yes, thanks yes. alone. Another matter, that a lord art thou not, bearer of the dark sigil, and our lord for the time. And... Bearer of the dark curse. A line that we hear a lot in Dark Souls 2. Or the dark sign. Probably not Dark Curse. It's the bearer of the dark sign. There you go. So she replaces him. And she has now items to sell. One of those here is Londor Divine Tome. With a Purging Stone. Let me buy one. Just for sakes. Uh, untrue Dark Ring. This makes us look human when we hollow out. Uh, untrue White Ring makes us look like a phantom. This is a PvP item. And this is the Dark Hand. The one we see Wraith wielding. With some sorceries. And some stuff like these. So she's uh, alright in general. We will purchase this but I will have to still look at uh, her quest the priestess quest in order to see if I can give her these or not in order to advance her quest nevertheless oh good hollow I'm afraid I'm or Becca Vinheim is a cause of much consternation he proclaimeth himself Lord of hollows if left alone he may one day imperil thy rule Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Decisiveness is the mum. Till we meet again, may the. So she basically tell us or usurp us to. Where is he? Kill this fellow. Back again, I see. I suppose. And this guy is Ulbeck of Venheim. Ulbeck is of Venheim is. Uh, a sorcerer and an assassin and an assassin uh, if this was my lord of hollows quest and if i was doing a hollow build of course i'll be killing this guy because he's an assassin and he, at the end of the day he does deserve it but since i am not gonna go that path with this build oh my this is stupendous and the undead legion of Farron possesses sorceries quite unknown thank you for upholding your end of the bargain. I doubt I ever would have made this discovery alone. Now, let us unlock. <laughs> so yeah, um, does sell sorceries, of course. I will leave him be for now. We got something to give this uh, fella to, uh, which is the Great Swamp Pyromancy. Yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Good fella. Learn pyromancies. Um, let me see. For the time being, nothing of interest. There you go. One more boost. Uh, do not think what. And of course, we do have divine tomes for her but again i'm not gonna give them to her i got two right now they will come later so we're finished with this place and now it's time to head to the abyss watchers place and I don't think I'm going to be fighting the boss today. There's, small, there's a small detour I need to take first. But we will see. We will see about it. We're finished with this cursed place. Although I am certain I've... I know, I've already, uh, I am already aware that I've left an item there. It's a bow, and it's a really good bow for dexterity builds. But you know what? Screw it. I hate this place. It's dumb. This swamp in general is dumb. 
love the area amazing design uh, before we advance there are some few enemies we need to take care of right here such as Shriving Stone as one of these fellas die buddy I know, I know. You big, mean, and angry. I know. Either way, I think the correct thing to do is to come here first. Kill this idiot who just dropped down. And prevent him from summoning or from awaking or waking up these fellas who are busy worshipping something, whatever. And you will have a much easier time. Anyway, either way, they are dead and I'm alive. And that's all we need to do. Hmm, what else? That's the dead end. This leads back to the swamp. As you can see, there's the... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is there anything there? No, not really. Nothing of interest. Oh yes, of course, there's two wraiths here We can havoc here. They'll be destroying all these fellas. And giving us HP, ah, uh, souls, which is fine. It's a lovely place to farm a bit too. Get your souls up to date and everything if you need the item. The first thing we need to do is head through this area. Because, behold, is the bonfire. And there's a summon here, which is... Londo. Pale Shade. Now here's the deal. All these summons you are seeing now, because I'm playing offline, are NPCs. So do not worry. Kindle the bonfire and continue down the way where there is going to be some lovely things I need to take. Goodbye. I said goodbye, sir. You too. Right up your butt. <laughs> Our friend the undead is a bit of a meanie. That's enough. Ow, dude. And there you go. As you can see, as I'm attacking, you can clearly see the old wolf uh, buff comes into action. What's this? Great magic weapon. Cool. And after all that time, here we are at the Road of Sacrifices. <laughs> Be wary, this guy is a big angry guy. Goodbye. Oh, you gave us an amber. Why, thank you. Ambers are something I'm a bit in need of. I've used a lot. Uh, I've did, I did pur purchase like four or something, but still. I need all the embers I can get my hands on. And as I drop down here... Here's where we saw the items earlier. Atonement and Hollow Gem. Now as a or if I was in my path as a hollow build I think this is gonna be the most important place uh, for me. Uh, if I had a hollow build, I would be going to the Farren Keep first. And 
and then, and only then, I would go to the Deacons of the Deep. It's the same thing, to be honest. Uh, it's not going to be breaking anything, but that will give me a Hollow Gem, which will make whatever weapon I'm using scale with luck. And why would I want it to scale with luck? That's because luck increases bleeding. So if I have a katana, for example, which is a hollow katana, uh, which already has... Uh-oh, they saw me. They saw me. Is it just... No, 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 no. It's the two of you. No, I cannot. Sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for them to just do that business but they saw me they got alerted and I do not have time to fight them so I'm just gonna be hiding here and let them do the dirty job for me well I guess uh, I guess it's time to go fight the abyss watchers what do you know I don't need this but I do need this it's gonna be super duper handy for that fight it's not a big tough fight but i do require a lot of stamina because the abyss watchers are dancers and they will unleash a ton of attacks upon me and if my stamina goes away uh, it's gonna be a big problem Amber. what else You can already hear them fighting amongst each other. Goodbye. Blue buck pallet. Rotten sword. And there you have it. Now there is a summon. Dude. Did they make you lose all your HP like this? That's sad. Damn. Ooh, that's a surprise attack. Anyway. Dark Sword again, and Dark Gauntlets. Damn. You can farm these fellas and eventually they will give you the items that you need. Or well, not the items, the armor set. Their armor set. But it will take time. It's funny, uh, I was talking about the Dark Sword because I really wanted that sword. It looks great. And I was farming the Wraith down there at the swamp. And... The problem is Gothard, the Black Hand. You see his sword? You see the, the sword that he's carrying? It's a twin sword. And this is exactly the sword that I'm looking for. This is the core of the build because it's an amazing sword. A dual wielded sword and it's going to be working wonders for this build. Because remember, successive attacks. And with a dual wielded sword you would be able to successfully attack people a lot faster and a lot longer. Uh, no need. There you go. Take this. Open this up. And as I will be speaking lesser during this fight, I will leave you to enjoy the boss fight. One of my most favorite boss fights in the Soul series, the Abyss Watchers. Enjoy.
And there you have it. The Watchers of the Abyss. Now, on one hand, the boss is going to be actually easier uh, if I did it alone because I would be inflicting much more damage. At the same time, if I'm less experienced in this boss fight, it will be harder alone. So, all in all, I probably should have done it alone. But uh, since I wanted to, you know, have Gothard fight with me, and since in most of my other playthroughs of Dark Souls, I've always done this alone, uh, this time I was gonna make certain I always have NPCs at my side as I do this. Again, one of my best fights, one of my best music fights, and probably you know why, because uh, the Ibis Watchers is kind of a big nod to the Bloodborne series, and even the music, because in Dark Souls you don't see music like this, and you always find yourself with music like, uh, you know, um, how can I say it? Not choir music, not music with a big orchestral stuff. It's lovely. The music of Dark Souls is amazing, but it does reflect Dark Souls. Whether, or whereas Bloodborne's music is more like orchestral and it's kind of give you a scale of things and it's amazing for bloodborne lady maria's song is one of my favorites i love it and i think the cleric beast is going to be coming after it and german but that's for bloodborne for now this has been yagami ladies and gentlemen on our next episode we will go to the uh Carthus Catacombs. Oh yes, I forgot the name for an instant. It's the Carthus Catacombs which are going to be right ahead of us. The Catacombs are a lovely place. It's not something a place I particularly like, but what comes next after it, Erythil, is my most favorite area for many things. So, other than that, uh, I hope you are enjoying this series with me. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you guys when I see you. So bye-bye.